Hey everyone, Adam and Emily here, and today we are going for our first winter backpacking trip. We're gonna head over Mount Hale towards Zealand Falls Hut. We're gonna spend the night there, and then tomorrow we're gonna go over Mount Zealand as well as all three of the bonds. So we're currently walking up Zealand Road because this road's closed in the winter. It's about two and a half miles to the trailhead of Hale, so we'll be there pretty soon. So we just made it to the Hale Brook Trail. It took us just about an hour. So it's 2.2 miles to the summit of Hale and you can kind of see it peeking through the trees. So it should be a nice steady climb up, but we'll check back soon. We're getting pretty close to the summit of Mount Hale. I think we got about 500, 600 feet of elevation gain left. Uh, now that we're up high at elevation, you can just see how pretty the trees are, all covered in snow. We're right below the summit of Hale, so let's go check it out. So Hill is one of the shortest 4,000 footers. It actually barely makes the cut, but maybe it has a big car to help make up for it. <laughs> yeah, so that's probably one of the coolest parts about this summit is usually the, well, this is the giant Karn, but because of all the snow, it doesn't look too big. Uh, otherwise, it's a pretty wooded summit. As you can see, a whole bunch of trees and not a lot of views. Okay. All right, so now that we enjoyed the summit of Mount Hale a little bit, we are going to head down the Lendahan Trail towards Zealand Falls Hut. We've got about 2.8 miles, and I think we're going to drop about 1,600 feet in elevation. So let's do it. settled into the Zealand Falls hut. It's located at 2,700 feet and it took us about seven miles to get here, but we didn't go the most direct way. The more, more direct way is only about four miles from the road. Yeah, it's really not as cold as we were expecting, so hopefully it stays that way. And the great thing about this hut is from the porch, you get a pretty nice view looking into Carrigan Notch. just about 6 a.m. We're getting ready to make our way up to Z Cliff and then onto Zealand Mountain. It's a cold morning and it is snowing. So this will be quite an adventure today. So we just got to the Z Cliff viewpoint. It took us about an hour, so it's pretty good. As you can see, there aren't really views, but it looks like it's trying to clear. So maybe later in the day. All right, we have made it to Zealand. It's gotten a lot colder and a lot windier, so we've layered up, but so far so good. Woo! We're currently getting geared up to head above tree line as we approach the summit of Mount Gio. Gonna try and get some footage out there, but it's really cloudy and with the wind and all the cold, the GoPro might die, but we'll see what happens. All right, so we just came across Mount Gio uh, it was above tree line and I tried to take a video but the GoPro died so it just changed out the battery. So currently at this point we are somewhere in between Mount Gio and the Gio tent site. Uh, so we should be coming up to that pretty soon. And it's been nice so far. I mean we haven't seen any views because Gio is in the clouds but it looks like it wants to clear up a little bit. The sun just poked out so maybe we'll see something later. Yeah, it's a beautiful winter wonderland though for sure. We just made it to the West Bond Spur. So from here, it should be an easy half mile, about 200 feet of elevation gain to grab West Bond. Uh, we had some limited views on our way up here, but it looks like we're back in the clouds again. So hopefully it clears up when we get over to West Bond. Summit of West Bond. That ridge there is where we will be heading next. That's Bond Cliff. Yeah. 
heading next. Right there is West Pond where we just came from. These views are incredible. We made it to the summit of Bond Cliff, so now all we have to do for the rest of the day is go down. 10 miles, but the hard part is over and these views are incredible. So we made it down off of Bond Cliff and it was a long walk down and now we still have about six more miles but it's going to be completely flat. So at this point we're almost out of Lincoln Woods and almost back to the car. We can't wait to put some warm clothes on and just relax. So thank you guys for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and if you enjoyed our videos make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also check out our website twopeopleoneadventure.com. Thanks guys and we'll see you next time.